Hey everyone, welcome to the bit. Well, all right, let's just start that over again. Hey everyone, this is your Mad King Paradox that's bringing you number ten in my top ten most evil anime villains list. I'm gonna try and make this really short. My number ten is Mariko from Elfin Lead. Now I know what you're thinking, S. Why are you using a ten year old girl? You know, what's so scary about a 10 year old girl in a wheelchair? She'll rip your body apart. That's what's scary about her. For those of you who haven't seen Elf and Lead, I don't know why you haven't. Uh, there is a sub level human, a sub level type of human in that series known as Diclonius. And Mariko is the strongest of the Diclonius. And, uh, she's pretty fucking scary to boot. Yeah. Diclonius have these things known as vectors, which are invisible hands that stretch out of their back. But normally they only have about only have two that stretch about two, three meters. While she has twenty-six vectors that stretch about eleven meters apiece. And these things could uh lip, could tear a person to shreds with little effort whatsoever. So yeah, that's one little girl I would not want to babysit. Not to mention she's crazy. She's been isolated from the world for 10 years, per se. And she's been void of any uh, positive thing whatsoever. You know, love, happiness, joy. She's been robbed of that her entire life. And, uh... What's so scary about her is, like, she's a little girl, so... It's her innocence that's scary. Most that's the scariest part of it because she doesn't see it as killing people or ripping bodies to pieces. No, she just sees it as, "Ooh, this is fun. I like this game. Yeah." It's undescribable how scary that is. What makes her number ten though is that at the end of the series, she goes from being the top ten most evil anime villain on my list. To being a scared little 10 year old girl bawling her eyes out in the sight of the first time she meets her dad, who is holding a gun to her head. That's pretty much all I can say about Mariko for now because uh, that's pretty much it. She's a psychotic 10 year old girl with invisible hands stretching out of her back that can reach up to 11 meters and devoid of any positive emotion whatsoever and completely psychotic so that's pretty much the gist of it oh and the only way they can control her is by using a bomb they had implanted inside of her when she was an infant so that shows how much how scared they are of her <laughs> all right that's it for my number 10 stay tuned for my number nine anime villain until then